Um, joining me now is the Assistant Trade Minister, Tim Ayres, and uh, a big day. What a huge day in not just politics, but this story, this legal diplomatic saga of Assange. Now over. He's on his way back to Canberra. arrives here this evening. Yeah, it is, it is a big day. Uh, it, is, uh, it, it is an achievement of the government. I think we're talking about this recently. The, 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 the approach that Prime Minister Albanese has taken to this question and to the release of a number of other Australian citizens who have been uh, high-profile cases uh, has been a victory for patient diplomacy and leadership, advocacy at the, uh, at the officials' level but also leader-to-leader leader level. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, we've secured the right outcome for Australia here. It, it's an interesting one, though, because unlike Sean Turnell or Chung Lei, uh, who did nothing wrong, uh, this yeah. individual is now a convicted uh, felon. He pleaded guilty. And there are many viewers, many Australians, who would be of the view that uh, he doesn't deserve to be treated as a hero. Yeah, he's a controversial figure and he's likely to remain a controversial figure. Um, and you're right, there are different merits that attach themselves to these different arguments. You know, Sean Turnell, uh, working with the people of Burma and the institutions there to make Burma a better place and lift their economic development, unjustly in prison. Chung Lei, in prison in China. Um, uh, Mr Assange, it's a different story, but just because just because it's more difficult, just because the merits are different, doesn't mean that the government shouldn't act in the national interest. Uh, and that's what's happened here. So not chasing headlines in Australia, just focused on what is in the national interest and using all of the levers of uh, statecraft to to deliver the right result for Australia. I think everybody... Because there are many <clears throat> who believe that he's a hero and a, a, a warrior for free speech and free media. So that's the other... The other end of the spectrum here. He's won Walkley Awards. He's won journalism awards around the world. Yeah, there's very mixed views about Mr Assange around the place and people can hold both of those thoughts in their head at the same time. Uh, it's, it's complicated. But I think everybody agrees with the judgment that the Prime Minister came to before the election when he was the leader of the opposition. That was that whatever you think about this, it has gone on for far too long and it was the right judgment with the right approach uh, including leader-to-leader -leader level dialogue. The Prime Minister raised this directly with, with uh, President Biden. It was the right thing to do and it's delivered the right result. Yes, yeah, certainly. I think many would agree with that, that enough's enough. Uh, uh, a decade and a half incarceration. Even, even, if, you, even, if, you even think, if you have strong yeah. views that, that he'd done the wrong thing, uh, I think most people would accept that that he... That, you know, it has dragged on and on and on um, and, and it's it's... It's a hard thing to do to bring this to a conclusion. It's not necessarily... Previous governments have not engaged with this in the way that this government had. We've done the right thing, in my view, uh, brought it to a conclusion, uh, and we're seeing the evidence of that now. Generated a lot of, uh, a lot of support across the political spectrum. You had... I've never seen this before, where Matt Canavan... I spoke at a news conference followed by a Green senator, Peter Wish Wilson. That was sort of says yeah. it all, really. But does the Prime Minister need to, and the Foreign Minister, need to be cautious here as to not treating Assange like a hero or going to the airport to welcome him? What's your read I on that? I don't think that uh, that there's anybody in in. Uh, I was going to say in Parliament. Probably that's not right. There'll be some people who do treat him as a as a hero. It's but. But he's he's been accorded the rights as an Australian citizen. Uh, the the government's taken the right approach. Um, I don't know what the plans are in terms of uh, you know how the rest of the day plays out. I think it would be strange if the prime minister didn't meet with Mr. Assange. I mean, this has been an achievement of the government. He's raised it directly with the president of the United States. Uh, but. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think anybody's uh, treating, anybody serious is treating Mr Assange anything other than an Australian who we've worked very hard to get back to Australia. I wonder if he's an Origin fan, because it is Origin night tonight. So, um, yeah, on a light, we'll be back in time for that kick it is It is Origin night tonight, and I'm back on much more territory, Kieran. I know, I'll be watching that. Kieran, that's I'll, right, I'll be watching right. that, uh, as you be. will be. Now, the CPI number, uh, yep. sorry to take you off uh, comfortable territory, because that uh, that's pretty uncomfortable, isn't it, for the government and the RBA, the RBA particularly? I think the Prime Minister and the Treasurer have... We, we've been at pains to be really clear about this issue over the last two years. Inflation, we inherited a very difficult position uh, in terms of inflation. 
We've, we've used every lever at our disposal in the budget, including uh, two successive surpluses, like first surpluses in 16 years, I think, uh, and all of the cost of living measures that we've directed towards um, middle and low income Australians to make sure that to the extent that we can do non-inflationary work to support household budgets, we've done those things, but we've been very clear. It, it's a long task to move inflation on. We've made very significant progress. If you look at the monthly inflation figures in 2022, we are a long way away from there, but we are not out of the woods yet. The, yeah, it's, the, it's plateaued the, and nudging the, back up. The Treasurer has been very clear. These figures will bounce around month to month, uh, but ha have a look at what the ABS figures also tell us. They also tell us that if we had not taken the approach to energy bill relief and to capping prices, to capping the, the, the growth in prices, uh, that inflation would have been much higher, opposed by... Uh, Peter Dutton and the opposition. Uh, if we had not taken the approach on Commonwealth rent assistance, while rents have risen, they would have risen much, much more. So our, our measures have been the right thing in fiscal terms, put downward pressure on inflation. They've been the right thing to support households, but they've also had a direct downward impact on inflation, and we're just going to keep on with that task. We're very clear with Australians, it's not over yet, but we're heading in the right direction. Assistant Trade Minister Tim Ayres, thanks as always. Good on you, Kieran.